Right, we're going to be having a look at this question 5.1 um, out of this HSE textbook. Um, it's a civils question from the grade 11 textbook. Uh, they've given you a whole lot of information over here, the window schedule, the fixtures, they've given you an incomplete wall uh, and, and foundation, uh, they've given you floor finishes, they've given you fixture, what, what the different symbols are as to what they're looking at in here. And they've given you this incomplete floor plan and an incomplete north elevation. They've also given you the task that we're going to be working through. Um, to start with, I'm going to look at this um, uh, floor plan, which you'll find on page 5.2. Um, now, what I've done is I've just done the uh, bathroom and uh, the kitchen part of it. Um, and I'll try and get that through to you in some way during this time. Right. Okay. Um, here's the task, it says given information, the incomplete north elevation of the new home, the incomplete floor plan, um, showing all the walls and the positions of the windows, the doors, the fixtures and the room designation, incomplete foundation, um, the window and door schedule and the incomplete floor plan. Here we go, it says instructions. Um, instructions, answer these questions on the prepared worksheets. Now you don't obviously have the worksheets at the moment. Um, so we'll have to figure out a way of getting them to you. Um, use of the incomplete floor plan. Draw the first angle orthographic projection of the following views of the new house. The completed floor plan, the sectional elevation, and all the elevations. All drawings must comply with the guidelines of the SANS Code of Drafting Practice. Right. Uh, the specifications of the floor plan on page 5.2. Add the following features to the drawing. All draw doors and windows, all fixtures, all hatching, label the rooms, determine the, and label the, the area of each room, and determine the area of the perimeter of the house and tabulate the answers. Right. Uh, I'm just going to show you what I have here. Here is the worksheet 5.2. I've only got the A4 part of it because I think I can get that to you. Uh, if you can just email me. Um, what we're going to look at is how to draw in all the fixtures in the bathroom, all the, oh, the sink in the, uh, in the kitchen, and we can look at how to do the windows and one of the doors. Um, if you can do that, I think we're well on our way to getting the civils chapter sorted out. Right. Okay, let's have a look. First of all, they've given you uh, the fixtures, and they've given you the symbols, D1 as a door, D2 sliding door, W1, W2, the windows, WC is a toilet, that's very important now. Uh, WB, a wash basin. B, the bath. SH, a shower. BIC, built in cupboard. And S, a sink. Right. Um, if you look at this over here, you'll see that they've got those little markings. I've just made that a little bit bigger so that you can see it a little bit more clearly. And my suggestion to you is that you take the information over here and just lightly write those symbols in in the positions that they've got them over here on your worksheet over here so it says wb um, i'm just going to write in just wb very lightly over there i'm going to write in sh over here sh i'm going to write in sc over there oh, sorry that's a wc 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 that's the toilet and B over here. And over here, uh, over here it says an S for the sink. So I can put an S over there for my sink. Right, once I've dropped that in place, I can then draw in the correct symbols at those points and I know that they are going to be in the right place. Um, one of the worst things I, I find as a marker is um, when you put these different symbols in the wrong places and you lose the marks for them. Right. Um, you can straight away, you can, um, you can label this room if you want to, uh, just bathroom, bathroom, R-O-O-M, there we go, and then we can start working around that. Okay, uh, we need to have the correct symbols. Now they've given you a fixtures thing over here showing you all of the bathroom fixtures and uh, built-in cupboards and sinks, etc. Um, and you'll note that they've given you the dimensions. Now, 
the drawing that we are busy with, it says that you've got a scale of 1 is to 50 over here. So you need to scale all of these dimensions first. I've just written the different, different parts. Obviously, I just need the length and the width of whatever it is. I don't need the height because we're only working in the, um, in the elevation view of this. Uh, I mean, in the plan view of this thing. So I only need the top view part of this. Now, um, you do not draw what you are seeing over here. You have um, the SANS code of drafting practice symbols, which are these down here. That is a sink. That is a bath. That is a wash basin. That is a shower. That is your toilet over there. Please don't go and draw those onto your things. Otherwise, you will lose the marks completely and you would have wasted a whole lot of time as well. All right, let's have a look at drawing this sink. Um, the sink looks like that. I just need to draw that in on the position over here. Um, my dimensions for my sink, it says that it is 950 millimeters. Um, I just need to take my ruler and I need to measure off 19 millimeters for the length of it. Now, as long as it's more or less wherever they have positioned it, you can just get away with marking it off there. I'm just going to mark off 19 millimeters over there. I'm just going to draw some construction lines very quickly over here. Just a construction line there, a construction line there. Um, and then we look at the, the width of it. It says that it's 500. That's a 10 millimeter gap. So I go over here, place it more or less in the middle over there. And I can now draw in my external part of my sink. There we go. There we go. Push up to the top there. Pop that in there. Pop that in there. Right, there's also the tub part of the sink, and they've given you 350 millimeters over there. Uh, 350. Divided by 50 is equal to 7 millimeters. All right, so we need to measure off 7 millimeters over there. 7 mils over there. Pop that in over there. And you can now draw in that little sink part in there. That over there. And that and that. And once you've done that, you just draw a little circle over there. Just freehand it in, and there we go. There's our sink all sorted out. Right, the next one is the shower. Uh, there is the shower over there. It says it's uh, 750 by 750. Uh, the shower that you need to draw in is that shape over there. You go to where you drew your SH over there, and you measure off 15 millimeters over there. Just measure off. 15 millimeters over there. I'm just going to use a 45 degree set square. I know it's a square, so I can just draw a 45 degree line going across there as a construction line, draw a line going up there, and I can then draw in my two sides for the square. And my little plug hole, I'm just going to place it over there. Right, once I've done that, uh, it says that I need a wash basin. The wash basin uh, it says over here is uh, 455, that comes to 4.2. I'm just going to round that off to 4, four millimeters. So we come over here, we measure off 4 millimeters. No, that doesn't make sense. Uh, is that right? Let's just go 455 divided by 50 is equal to uh, 9.1. Sorry, 9.1, that makes more sense. So nine millimeters over there. There we go. Nine millimeters in the length of it. And I'm just going to draw that in, draw that in. And then it says that it is 290, 290 divided by 50, which is equal to 5.8, which is closest to six millimeters. So six millimeters down. There we go, and I can now draw in my wash basin there. You can see that by writing in what it is that I'm needing to draw, I'm not having to check back at any stage 
to see what it is that I'm meant to be drawing in at these different places. Uh, the next one is the, the toilet over here. The toilet is, it says that it is 500, so it's 50, uh, um, 10 millimeters at least, 10 millimeters over there. Measure that off. Obviously the back of the toilet is going to be over there. Um, I just need to draw some construction lines coming out over there. Construction line coming out over there. I'm going to measure off. It says that it's 700 divided by my 50, which is 14 millimeters. That I mark off over there. And then I measure back nine millimeters over there. Nine millimeters from the front to there. And I can now draw in these three lines over here. There, there, there. That, and that. And at the end of the day, you should, in dark, write in WC over here. Do that nice and dark. Remember my, these little letterings that I just put in, I put them in very, very lightly, um, just for you to, they sort of construction line letters, you could say. Right, the last one is the, uh, is the bath that I need to put in. Uh, it says that it's 16 millimeters. Go over there, 16 millimeters. Um, that is the, the, the bath. Take a line going across there. Um, and we can also see um, that the length of this bath is 36 millimeters, 36 mils. There we go. It actually just fits in there. Um, obviously, uh, I think it's meant to go in there. There we go. There we go. And the plug hole is obviously going to be at this end of the bath. Why? Because it's closest to the wall. Um, yeah, I wouldn't put my toilet there. It's a very bad place for a toilet um, because if somebody does happen to open the door by accident, you're going to see a view of everything. Right. Cool. Um, Right, the next video I will look at doing the windows over here um, and we can have a look at that now.